We finally have some rain. Oh, it's lovely. But look, a bit too late for the poor trees. Look at all the leaves they're shedding already. Oh my goodness, it looks like autumn. It's far too soon. It's the summer still. So, so lovely to hear this very, very gentle rain in the trees. <laughs> trying to keep the camera dry, but look, what do I spy on my table? That looks like a beautiful, oh my goodness, I'm just going to get under the thing. That's a massive, this is one of these beautiful, I think it's Italian courgette that M&M have been growing, still with its flower on. Oh, I could stuff that with a creamy cheese and then fry it. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, quick, let's get inside. Hello, lovelies. A proper hello now. Oh, my goodness. I feel, I feel really quite warm. I don't know how much bamboo canes weigh. That's 30 of them. They're eight foot long. Most of them are sort of about an inch in diameter. I don't know how much they weigh, but they weigh a lot especially when you walk them the mile from your flat to the garden. Oh my goodness. The other day when I was talking about, oh, let's get nice and proper comfy. Yeah, when I was talking about exercise and um, I was talking also, also in replies mentioning stretching because I'm a big believer in stretching. I like a good stretch every day. Certainly after doing a job, like that where it's kind of you know I will now do a lot of structures for my sort of neck shoulder area because otherwise that's the kind of thing which tomorrow I'll wake up in the morning like <laughs> you know Richard the third <clears throat> now is the window and it's the discontinued tent sale or whatever it is yay I'm so delighted with those poles thank you to Christina who um, had mentioned it, I think, I don't know what it came out of, I think it's probably out of my tomatoes, because most of the supports for the tomatoes are at most about four feet high. The tomatoes are six feet now. So Christina very kindly sent me um, some cash, which I have finally managed to find somewhere that would deliver them to me, a place that I trust. So I could have gone online, I could just have gone online and bought bamboo poles online thing is i don't really like buying things without seeing them because you just don't know about the quality also where are they coming from i want to support my local businesses so if you remember way back in the beginning of the season with compost gate and one of my local garden centers i mentioned them at, at the time shannon's it's just a tiny little place family run business fantastic at the beginning of COVID, they were doing deliveries. They were occasionally getting a bit of compost in. So that's how I managed to get three bags of compost in. I don't know, I think it was the end of April to do at least some seed starting in. I just didn't have anything to start my seeds in. Anyway, I rang them the other day because I thought I'll pop over to them. It's quite a long walk for me on my gnarly knees. It's about, I'd say they're sort of two and a half miles from me, but it's all uphill. So coming home is fine, but I thought I'm just going to ring before I go over because I don't want to do that walk if they then don't have them in stock. So I rang them, checked they had stock. Yes, they do. And then said, oh, and I just want to make sure you're still doing delivery. Oh, we're not doing delivery anymore. I was like, 
are we having compost gate all over again? But then I suddenly remembered another garden centre, which I haven't been to for years, years and years and years. Um, when I first moved to this area, I actually had a back garden, just a little tiny, um, sort of little patio cottagey back garden. And I wanted to buy some plants for it. And a friend told me about this place called The Secret Garden. And it really is a bit of a secret because when you're on the main road going past on the bus or in your car, you wouldn't know it's there because it's sort of down the back of the edge of the hill. Anyway, I rang them and yes, they would deliver. So, fantastic. And what was great is they only deliver between one and three in the afternoon, just locally. So it's not one of those, you know, waiting in from nine in the morning till nine at night for delivery. Anyway, oh, I'm just really happy because I've got some bamboo poles and that means I can give all those bonkers tomatoes a bit more support, not just right now, but obviously for next year too. Uh, they're one of those things, bamboo poles, aren't they? That, you know, every now and again, we do need to buy a new stock of them. They snap over time, of course they do. I don't chuck away the snapped bits. The short ones will do for something somewhere else. And even when they get that little, <laughs> they'll do as either row markers or just to mark where I've seeded, whatever. Anyway, I'm really happy to get those today. Um, <clears throat> now, I had been planning to do some gardening, tomatoes, but it's been raining all day. It's not much to write home about. It's not heavy rain. It's just this really beautiful, light, miserly, drizzly rain. But it just feels fresher. Um, it's just oh, it's just lovely to have this cooler weather, little bit of rain. This is this is England in the summer again. But what's amazed me just coming in now is I showed with that little bit of um, little bit of filming by the entrance. The I think it's the sycamores. They're giving up their leaves already. I think that just shows how dry we've been how stressed all the plants have been including our big old trees for them to start shedding now it's really far too early middle of august still for goodness sakes anyway a little bit of rain a lot of leaves on the ground it felt like i was walking into the garden in october and not in august this isn't going to stay for long it's um i think it's just today so i can go back on with gardening <coughs> But I wanted to get those poles down today because then tomorrow or whenever, whichever day it will be that I come, um, a thank you to Nicholas, I've got some ericaceous compost to play with. So the plan will be to empty out one of those hoogle cultures that I made, see what happened in the bottom of it, get the ericaceous compost in. So I couldn't manage both the bean poles and the compost all in one go. Um, I don't drive. I never have. I've never owned a car. Uh, I had a few driving lessons once. It wasn't. It wasn't for me. <laughs> it was years ago. And the fact is, you know, I've made it this far in life without a car. I've managed perfectly well. Of course, some things would be a little bit easier with a car. Of course, it would, especially these days with Minali knees. But. I've got bamboo poles and I haven't had to use a car. Great. You know, when you when you don't have, you just have to get on and make the most of what you do have. And in my family, we have legs. <laughs> Our transport in my family is legs. I grew up without a car, never had a car. We walked everywhere. And unless it was too far to walk, in which case it's a bus or a train. But yeah, um, to me, look, they were heavy <laughs> and my neck's a little bit tender there now, but honestly, I don't bat an eyelid about it. I don't think twice about doing a little haul like that down to the garden. Whereas I know there are probably quite a lot of people younger and fitter than me <laughs> that would get in a car to do that. We don't need to. Um, but I did have to do it in two trips because, I, like I said, 
doing the compost and the poles all in one go wouldn't work. So I thought, yeah, pop them down today. Yes, it's raining. I've got a little bit damp on the way. I don't care. One of the other things is there are a few bits and bobs I wanted to tidy up in the shed. Also, I wanted to come and collect my, you see what it is? <laughs> my, one of my fab little boxes of random screws. We always have a couple of screws left over after a job, don't we? And whenever I'm recycling or repurposing an item, if there are screws in it, if the wood is rotten, uh, I'll have the screws out. I never throw a screw away. <laughs> just like my grandfather anyway I um a friend part of, part of her kitchen is falling apart and needs a fix so I had a look at it the other day but it needs it needs screws so I thought I am bound to amongst this little lot I'm bound to have a screw that will fix her job but you know now that I've got here I'm just sitting looking out oh it's so lovely so oh, let me show you the view you don't want to look at me you want to look at the garden in the rain don't you hang on a tick oh that's better now you can see too I love how you know just with a few hours of just the lightest rain everything starts to look green again the paths are starting to look green again thank goodness it's that beautiful nitrogen that's in the rain unlike our horrid tap water that we water with and all that does is keep the plants just about alive but it doesn't really encourage them to thrive every now and again that's what's lovely about having a good size shed and having a shed that's sort of a, a home from home just to sit here where I've got that lovely big elderberry tree behind the shed and its branches come out over my shed roof obviously as this mizzle collects on the leaves every now and again it rolls off the leaf and plops onto the roof Hmm, take a deep breath everyone, take a lovely long deep breath and sigh it out. Gosh, I needed this. What I was about to say before I turned all of you around was that this was supposed to be a quick pop down here drop off the canes, pick up the screws, tidy my shed a little bit because <laughs> it's, oh, it's always in a mess. <coughs> but actually, now that I've got here and I'm just sitting, listening, watching, smelling, oh, smelling, yes. The smell during rain, oh, it's so beautiful. So now that I've got that, oh, I think I'm just going to sit a while and enjoy it. You know, will it really make a huge difference to my day if I stay here for 10 minutes instead of two minutes? No, of course it won't. Of course it won't. So this little view from my shed door, as you can see, this is actually not my plot. I know some people get a bit confused sometimes, but where you've got all these cosmos and sunflowers, this is actually my plot neighbour's plot, the ones with the blue shed next door. And you can see a little further along, can you see the bunting, my bunting hanging on my fence? that's where my plot starts if you're not familiar can i do it with my finger <laughs> oh, oh oh there we go so this is the beginning of my plot and it goes on up over there all of this all of this is not my plot but how lovely to have neighbors 
that grow such lovely flowers for me to enjoy too when I'm having a little rest outside my shed or like today a little sit inside my shed I love that moment too when the rain stops and the birds start chirruping again. But actually I think the rain is getting heavier. I mean it's not heavy, it's just drizzle. I doubt you could even see it on the screen. <sighs> yes. I'm always really grateful to have this garden, always, but there are some days when I'm particularly grateful. Today is one of those days, after the heat last week, which I'll be honest, I was really struggling with, I, I, I got to the stage, I mean I just wasn't enjoying it, I was feeling ill, despite the fact that I'm a real summer girl, but yeah, days like today, after that heat and feeling a bit, I don't know how to put it, almost sort of claustrophobic from the heat and really not spending any time here apart from to do the watering. Then days like today happen and I'm not going to do any gardening but I'm so glad to get out of the house, to come down here, there's not a soul around. For once, it's quite quiet in terms of building work, what have you. Yeah, I really needed this today. <sighs> Gorgeous. So I'm going to bid you all a very fond farewell and cheerio. I'm just going to sit. <laughs> so until next time, please look after yourselves. Take some time to just sit. I'll see you all again really soon, I hope. Bye for now.